Hey, I'm Jason Chapman, and I run a music store with my brothers, John and Jeremy. People are always asking, what is it like to be in a family business? Well, I've been in a band with my family for the last 28 years. And if that wasn't enough, we recently opened a music shop. Since opening the shop, we found that the people that come through the door are just about as unique as the instruments they carry. And now, since they gave us a TV show, we leave the cameras running, and there's always something going on at the shop. Hey, we're excited to welcome you to the first episode of the Ozark Music Shop. My name's Jeremy, and I'm here with my brothers John and Jason. So guys, this being our inaugural episode of the Ozarks Music Shop, we figured we'd let you guys get to know us a little bit better. Hi, I'm Jeremy, and I like long walks on the beach and puppies. Now you know him. <laughs> but that's not what I meant. We got some great old footage of uh, that guy playing fiddle. He plays fiddle. Not me. Yeah, not this guy. <laughs> this guy. And uh, got him playing some old oh. contest footage at uh, a fairgrounds in Colorado at the age fiddling of, contest. Yes, a fiddling contest. <laughs> at the age of six to twelve, we don't know how old he was, but <laughs> the younger old. than he is now. Yes. Um, we had some great friends, Rob Ikes and Trey Hensley, come by the shop. A uh, jam broke out. Do you guys remember that? I do. It was awesome. They uh, picked some tunes with us, and then we got to let them pick some tunes. And you'll get to see some of that. We also had Chad Gravy, both Graves, and uh, Mark Cassidy drop by and pick a few with me and John. Uh, we're, we're I was there. there. Oh, you were there? I played the bass. Oh. <laughs> that was that did. guy with the bass. <laughs> well, we also have some old Chapman's footage from here at the shop, as well as some early, early footage of the Chapman's. So uh, enjoy the show. I started out playing by doing fiddle contests. Fiddle contests were kind of a, a fun way for me. It was as a, I think, I think about eight years old, I started doing those. And 
it was a great way to make money uh, for playing three songs you could make some money and that was that was really cool and plus it also gained a lot of friends um, we kind of all played the same contest circuit together so a lot of us would just kind of go hang out and do our contests and afterwards we'd spend each other's money it was kind of fun Later on, we started playing with some other people, uh, jamming and stuff, and playing a few little shows, you know, nursing homes, that kind of thing. We, uh, we lost our lead singer that was doing all the stuff, so my dad said, you need to start doing that, which meant that I needed to try to, well, at least I thought, I needed to switch over to start learning to play guitar. It was my excuse to start learning to play guitar. Um, so then I started doing that. Jeremy joined the band as well as mom at the same time. So it kind of just fell together as this family group that we were doing. We grew up back in Denver, Colorado. And when we first started out, dad just got us a bunch of local shows. Um, most of them I don't think paid, but I remember one of them in particular, we played at the Aurora Mall, the shopping mall. They set up a stage in the middle of the mall. I uh, would come up one song and I would sing a song with my brothers. Most of the people would just kind of look over at us like, that's a banjo on stage and keep on walking. So uh, I guess it was a good good way to practice in front of people, but not much of a career builder. And it was, that was definitely a new experience.
you're looking for an acoustic instrument, the Acoustic Shop is the place you want to go. The Acoustic Shop, uh, we've been open about four years now and uh, have been nominated top 100 uh, dealer at NAMM Show uh, for two years now. At the Acoustic Shop, we mainly focus on acoustic music instruments and the accessories that go with them. Guitars, mandolins, banjos, basses, and accessories and the, the lessons and repairs that go along with those. It's uh, something that we've been passionate about for the last uh, 28 years of our lives playing in a family band growing up, and we opened a all-acoustic music store in uh, Missouri to help fill the needs of people that are more focused on just that niche of the genre. With us having all those years on the road, it's really helped us to find the right instrument for the right person. When somebody calls us or comes into the shop, we can actually talk to them and know exactly what kind of instrument would be the best fit for them. And I think that's just something that we bring that a lot of people can't started out teaching lessons before we even opened the shop, so that is something that has been a passion of ours for the last 15 years. I believe we've said this is where the pros teach, and I truly believe this is where the pros teach. At the Acoustic Shop, this isn't just what we do, this is who we are. So if you're wanting to learn how to play the banjo, the fiddle, the mandolin, guitar, the Acoustic Shop's the place for you.
for as long as I can remember. Our goal from the start was to have an outlet where we could feel that passion in others. At the Acoustic Shop, this is not just what we do, it's who we are.
guy named Lester did it. Cool. Lester. That's a name you don't know. I can't remember. I don't know any Lesters, do you? <laughs> no, I can't say I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any Morsters either. <laughs> Joke well, I don't care who you are, that's funny. <laughs> we'll be back with more of the same. <laughs> Stay tuned for more of the same. So that was the first episode, guys, and I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. We will be back hopefully next week. If everything goes as planned, I believe we will be back next week. I hope. I hope so. I think they they said we have 24 episodes, guys. That's so, a think, lot. We've got a lot of filming to do. A whole season. And we're also going to be doing a lot more segments from the shop. We're doing uh, introductions on maintenance, answering some questions from you, the viewers, and a little education on acoustic music. What is a guitar? I don't know. We're going to find out. Tune in next week. Ah, dun, dun, dun.